I could sleep all day long in this bed. But I'm way too hungry. All right, I'm allowed to go out now. Sean! Finally! Sean, are you awake? Breakfast's almost done, so come down when you're ready, okay? Okay! <sighs> What's up? Ah, look who's here. But uh, you're too late for the 915 Express. Um, it's okay. I'll take the next one. It will leave after breakfast. Don't be late this time. I won't. Feels so good to be safe at last. <sighs> Better not sneak in. They won't like it. We survived for weeks out there with no hot water. Hope I'll never have to hold on to a bar to take a shit. Better hit the kitchen quick. Claire's waiting for us. Oh my, look who's awake. Daniel, mm. breakfast time. Your brother is ready. <sighs> Grandpa's showing me a pop star. Steven, your grandson needs to eat now. You can show him the boxcar later. I love how they're getting along. Do you need help or anything? Oh, don't worry. I can do this in the dark. <laughs> but thanks for the offer. All right, all right. Are you boys done playing? We had a express delivery with the passengers. But the engine broke down. Yep, has to go straight to the workshop. Good. No trains in the kitchen, remember? Gotcha, Chief. Choo-choo! Ah, <laughs> oh, sugar. He can fix his trains, but not my kitchen. Did I make enough? Everything's okay? It's great, as usual. You're the best cook ever. Looks like you're getting cozy with this new country life after all. I miss Seattle. My friends. There's so much more to do in the city. <laughs> There's more crime, more traffic. Nobody can go out anymore. I think there's crime everywhere. I love Seattle, but it's cool here too. Well, it's certainly safer for children. Everybody out here is a neighbor. We try to lend a hand, like to Charles next door. He lost his wife and things have been hard on him and his son. He would just get lost in Seattle, but we're all taking care of him here. How old is his son? I, I think he's your age. Ooh, 
cool. going on back there? Nothing. Oh, <laughs> I thought Stephen was a fast eater. Hey, Grandma. I wanted to ask you something. About that locked room upstairs. <sighs> I told you, there is nothing to see in it, Daniel. Why were you in it this morning, then? Because there's a lot of old junk in there. And... Besides, it's not safe for you to explore, okay? But we'll be fine. Why don't you go explore outside? You sure look like you're getting better. Get some fresh air. I'll wait for Sean, and then we'll go. We won't be loud. Promise. But be careful nobody sees you. Stay in the back, okay? Maybe you should tell him that it was Karen's room. It's just a room now, Sean. Nothing to see. Daniel needs that. He doesn't know anything about her. I know, poor thing. But his mother isn't in there anymore. So nobody goes in the room, okay? I'm serious. Did Mom ever contact you? She only talked to Dad a few times. Then she was gone. Yes, she was. You know, Sean, I don't really want to talk about this anymore. It's over. Anyway, you have to respect my rules under my roof, okay? Of course. Always. I appreciate that, Sean. Now you better go find your brother. There's a shed with some old toys outside. I'll bet Stephen has the key. Danny will freak. Thank you. Sorry for getting upset, Sean. I, I just don't feel comfortable talking about all this. It's... Hello? Well, of course I know who this is, Chris. What a funny surprise. Are you okay? Is everything all right? I better catch up with Steven and get those keys. Daniel's going nuts in here. That is so sweet. I'm so glad to see you playing outside like a real boy. Well, anyway, I'll be happy to let Stephen know his services are required. He loves that treehouse. What bad guys? We spent the whole week locked up in the house. Will things ever go back to normal? Is it... <sighs> Shoot, I don't know. Hey, Mr. Pout. What's going on? Why do I have to do homework 